So most of the reactions of the alkenes involve, well, they all involve the double bond. So we basically add molecules across the double bond. The first one is, well, it is quite a useful reaction, but you may see it's been a bit silly, is reaction with hydrogen. And for this, you need a nickel catalyst. So if you take something like, if you take ethene, so CH2, double bond CH2, you can add hydrogen to it to make ethane. So you, you start with ethene, you add hydrogen, and you remove the double bond. Um, does anybody know why we, we use that reaction sometimes? To remove double bonds. Yeah, that's right. It's hydrogenation, so sometimes it's used to turn unsaturated fats um, into more saturated fats. So remove those double bonds, which make them um, become solid, um, which means we can use them for margarine and so on. Yeah. Um, so that is one of the most, apart from that, you would say, why on earth would you take a lovely molecule like uh, with a double bond and make it into an alkane, which doesn't really do a lot of chemistry? The other one is one that you would have come across from GCSE is reaction with halogens and you probably did it with bromine. No, we didn't do that. Oh, and you add bromine across. That's right. So you make this molecule. I'm sure you would have done this one. Bromine, of course, is an orange colour. This is colourless. What would this molecule be called? Uh, dibromoethane. One, two, one, two uh, dibromo. One, two, dibromoethane. Bromo. Bromoethane. Okay, so that is colourless. That is orange. So you see or, uh, orange to colourless, and that is the test for a double bond. Now, where it gets more interesting. Um, is when you actually react them with the hydrogen halides. So we're going to look now, the simplest one, of course. So we do a reaction with, let's do it with HBr. And we're going to look at this reaction in more detail. So, first one, nice and easy. I start with ethene, I add HBr. The HBr now just adds across the double bond like so. So H goes onto one carbon and Br goes to the other carbon. This of course would be just called bromoethane. Do I need to say one bromoethane? No. No, because I've only, it's obvious it's got to be on. Okay, however, if I started with a more interesting molecule, which wouldn't be that one. Um, so let's do, let's start again. Let's do propene. Like so. So I'm gonna start with that one. If I draw him out, um, so I've got H there and H there. I can, I'm going to add HBr across this molecule. So I'm going to do, so I will draw him out the same way on both sides. So what I've done is I've just squashed it up. The same molecule, yeah? So this is, what was this? This is propene. I think this is propene. If I remove that double bond, I can add an H there and a Br there, or I can add a Br there and an H there. What would this molecule be called? One, two, three. Two, two bromo. One bromo. This bromo one? one it's two, two, it's bromo. two bromo. Two bromo. Two bromo. You start with the lowest, don't you? Propane. Oh, propane. propane. Two, 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 three. two bromo propane. propane. And this is uh, one bromo, one bromo propane. propane. So from one reaction, I get two different molecules. So these are isomers of each other. 
So you've got to watch this and they'll often ask you to do the two different isomers. I'm going to do the simplest case possible. I'm going to start with ethene and we're going to go through plus Br2 to make this guy here. But rather than just drawing out like this, we're going to go for the mechanism as to what's going on and try and explain. So we're going to break this down into steps. The first thing, so in my test tube, I've got ethane and I've got a bromine molecule like so. This is a double bond. This is a center of high electron density. So very, very negative here. What happens is this bromine molecule, as he approaches it, he gets polarized. The electrons get shot down to this end here. So this bromine becomes delta plus. Delta means a little positive charge. And this bromine becomes delta minus. You know you've looked at polar bonds yeah. before. This is an induced dipole. Is that because of the double bond? Yeah, it's pushing those electrons down. Because this is like. So we use curly arrows to show the movement of two electrons. So what happens is the electrons this, these two electrons from this bit of the double bond come down and they attach themselves to that bromine. That arrow is showing the electrons moving. The electrons come out of this bond and go over here and attach themselves to that bromine. Can bromine have more than one bond? Not going to be happy. So what he does is he breaks that bond to so the electrons in that bond go over and sit on that bromine atom there. So that's the first step, and that results in this. So that's just those two. The bromine is now attached to that carbon. I've made that bond, but I've only now got a single bond here. So I've got H, H, and Br. I've taken electrons away from this carbon, so he has now got a positive charge on him. And I've given electrons to that bromine, so he's got a negative charge on him, like so. So what do you think is going to be the next step? Those just two dots show a lone pair. The final step, I've got a negative bromide ion and a positive carbon. These two are going to get together. So I'm going to show you, this isn't showing the movement of an atom. This is showing the movement of electrons. They go, wee like so, and form a bond there to give me my product there. So that is a mechanism. It's called electrophilic addition. Addition, because I'm adding a molecule across a double bond. Electrophilic, this is called an electrophile. It's something which is attracted to a center of negative charge. Electro likes ele electro thick electrons. Bile means love, so it loves electrons. It's attracted to those electrons. So that's why it's called electrophilic addition. The attacking species is an electrophile, and I'm adding across a double bond. So let's do the mechanism for this guy here. I start again with ethane, but I'm slightly, I'm going to change, draw the molecule like this, HBr. This is going to be slightly different. What do you know about the electronegativities of H and Br? Who's the most electronegative? Br. Br. Delta minus hydrogen delta plus. He's already polar bond. So the electrons are going to pop out and they're going to attack that H like so. And the electrons are going to come out of that bond and attack the bromine. That produces this guy here, H, H, H plus Br minus. Those two dots represent a lone pair of electrons. And then the final step is that he attacks the carbon there, and that gives me my product. So my electrophile is HBr, and I'm adding HBr across a double bond electrophilic addition.